Organic Earth Market. Liz and I are at the market today because Paul's decided to cook us a great big breakfast. I love markets because there's so much to choose from. Oh, there's so little. Oh, Liz, weird. No. Different. Those eggs. Oh, they were the cutest, littlest baby eggs I'd ever seen. I make soups with that all the time. I see some. Okay. I just noticed her look at those people over there, and it was like, yeah, something's going on. Here we go again. She's got company. Do you think they'd mind me going to them? Just go for it. All right, then. I'm on the move. Hello. Hi. I am psychic. I couldn't help notice that there's a male standing in between both of you. And whoever this is is connected, I believe, to you because he has his hand on your shoulder. Did you have a father, grandfather figure past? Yes. That's what I thought. He wants you to know that he is watching over you. Not a surprise. <laughs> and that he's very proud of the man you've become and that he didn't say it enough. Okay, and he wishes he had been different. He's saying, though, that the pattern has broken because you're not like him. You will never be. So he wants you to know that he's so proud. Are you his partner? His wife. Well, I am so happy that you are married to this man because this is a good thing. You're meant to be together. And we were meant to see you today. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what his dad is saying. You love her in a way that he could never love anyone because he did not have the capacity like you do. And he wants you to know you are a good man. You are. You've always wondered if you were. He's here to tell you you are. OK? Are you, are you OK? Yeah, it's just uh, it's very fitting. Can I have it's a big, hug? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you, honey. <laughs> wow. How freaking lucky am I? You know, obviously it's emotional, but it's emotional anytime I think of him. What she said is nothing surprising in there. I mean, but it did, I think, on how you felt about your relationship and his passing, the, the anniversary of it just it was in November, so it wasn't too long ago. Yeah. And we've had some conversations very similar to the stuff that she was saying. The man that you are versus the man that he was. That would have come out of his mouth when he was alive. Yeah, and I'm glad he recognized you as well. It's so emotional when you hear a message from someone you love that's passed. But it's so important. I hope this brings him some peace. So you're really going to buy those eggs? Hell yes. Thank you yeah. so much. Just wait till Paul sees those. <laughs> well, what a great place. It's a good day. Yes. What do you think about the show last week? Awesome, Kitty. Wasn't that something about the woman calling us and letting us know that the ring was exactly where I told her to look? That was unreal. How does that work, though? I sit there and I say what I say, and then I realize, oh my god, where did that come from? A couple of years ago, I had this idea that I wanted to connect to more people. And it just happened that I crossed paths with a, a local uh, production company or TV, and they actually agreed. So here we are, three seasons into the show. It's a live call-in show. It has grown immensely from a half hour to a full hour, and again to the third season. Where it stops, we'll see, but it's one hell of a ride. <laughs> Thank you, babe. That's perfect coffee. Oh, awesome. Oh my God, Paul. What? I just got an email from Mike. From Eastlake? Yes. Outbreak of the flu. There's going to be less volunteers available and they need to get more. And they're asking for help. They need somebody mm. for the phone and somebody for the floor director. Okay. What do you think about you and Dave? Yeah, but what am I gonna do? What about answering the phone? I can't answer the phone, Kelly, I can't hear. Paul. How do you think I'm gonna answer no. the phone? No, I can't hear either. Why are you nervous like this? You I'd be, be nervous too, no. I never did such a thing. Listen, try being in front of the camera. Yeah, but you used Nobody, to it. You no, were no, no, nervous no. the first time, like and, I don't know why. I did it. I oh, did yeah. It. 
Doesn't mean I can do this, though. Yes, you can. Well... Honey, I believe in you. Call Dave. We will practice and we'll see how it goes. It's not gonna be good. Today, I have a woman named Nancy coming to visit. She's a mother who's looking for direction and clarity in her life. Her children have grown, and she's looking for a new stage in her own personal development. Hmm, I sense there's big changes for her. My name is Nancy Barcos. I'm 56, raised my family. I'm a career woman. I think I've been drawn here. It was, that's what I need to do. I need to meet Kelly. I've lost some loved ones with my parents. They both passed from cancer, six years apart. Any message that I can get from them would be an honor. Hi. Nancy. Kelly. <laughs> After you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome. Thank you for allowing me the privilege to look inside your life. You've had a lot of loss. Yes. Wow. She's been through a lot. A lot of losses. A lot of pain. She needs to open up and let go of that pain. And so she can get rid of that negativity that's been constantly hanging over her. What was your father issue? I sought his attention, but never could quite get it. All my life, I think I searched for his approval or something from him because he was such a stone cold face. He, yeah. he didn't know how to express his own love. Well, he's behind you. I'm... He has a hand on your shoulder. He wants you to know he wished he had said these words to you, that he is proud of who you are. No, really? Oh, can he we said thank you? you never we're told no. that he is with you all the way. I feel that. And he gets you I now. Feel that. Really? He yeah. gets you now. <laughs> so no more. Let it go. Okay. There's a lot more she's hanging on to here. And unfortunately, it is surrounding her marriage. How does your husband feel? Oh, I knew you were going to say Sorry. that. Sorry. What is his sign? He's an Aries. Aries are amazing. Oh, he's wonderful. But they have one way to think. Yes, yes. And the, everything on the outside of that yes. is almost not able to be taken in. Can't comprehend. No. He can't and go if, on the same frequency that I'm on. Have you felt at times where you almost need to disconnect because you could not be the light you were meant to be? Right. I can't believe I just said that. Recently, someone said, you have a light within you, you can't dim your light. You need to stand up, find your voice. I can't believe you're saying that. I, I'm, I'm blown away. It will have an impact. My family, it will impact. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about that. I don't want to disappoint or hurt my children. What you will end up doing by staying is show them that you never go after your dreams. Is that what? No, mean? no. Oh, okay. I did this exact same thing. I said, I love your father. I love him to the day I die. I also know that if I have one more opposition from him yes. to not be who I am, Can't I will die. And you know what my, my sons told me? Mom, do what you gotta do. Do what you have to do. I did it for a year. Midnight in my garden, singing Amazing Grace at the top of my lungs, thinking to myself, this is the most craziest life. And guess what my husband did? He followed. <laughs> Ultimately, it has to be Nancy's choice in what direction she takes. But this is truly about not allowing the past to repeat itself. And she knows this. Is mother passed? Yes. What was wrong with her? I don't know any other way to ask. What did she die of? No. Or what was wrong? I believe she was depressed. Thank you. I believe she lived a long time depressed. Oh. She God. was tormented like I was. Yes. She wanted love. Yes. She couldn't. And she didn't know how to. She died wanting love, mm. and, and I don't want to die that way. Your mom and your dad are with you. I feel and that. And they need you to be who you want to be, not who you're expected to be. <laughs> now, it's about the next part of your journey. The next, yeah. I would love to 
go deeper. Is it okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Your father is smiling from ear to ear. You love the man. Yes. But you're afraid that your journey has to be singular. Yes. I'm here to tell you, you can have both. My name is Nancy Barcos. How does your husband feel? He doesn't understand. You need to find your voice. It will have an impact. Go after your dreams. Right now, being here today, yeah. this is me breaking free. It's been two weeks since I did Nancy's reading, and I am really excited to visit with her and to dig a little deeper in what we found out. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi. Welcome. So nice to finally see you. Come Thank in. Thank you Come so in. much for inviting me. Nancy's home, oh, it's actually quite lovely, but something was not right underlying was negativity and you could you could really feel it i've been on a on a journey for the last like i guess maybe even 10 years of trying to figure out what's next i've raised my children i have grandchildren and i've worked in a job for 18 years and i feel like now i'm at a crossroads oh i truly am honored to be sitting at your kitchen table and talking to you. I am as well. Nancy has this light within her. The sad part is she doesn't allow it to come out. It comes from not being ex accepted in her life. I hope she can open that door up. It's eating her inside out and nothing, nothing good comes from that. I look at you and I see so much desire and a hunger for more, a hunger for, for opening the door and, and realizing your truths. I'm gonna ask you a very, very hard question. Mm -hmm. Do you believe he loves you? Yes, Okay. absolutely, wholeheartedly. Okay, your fear is that your husband can't walk this journey with That's you. That's right, let's just say it. Do you love him? I want you to be honest with me. I have changed, I have grown, he has as well. And I've questioned, is this where I want to be? And it's not his fault, it's me. Can I answer it for you? Yes. You love the man, yes. but you're afraid that your journey has to be singular. Yes. I'm here to tell you, you can have both. Yes. Negative attracts negative, and it has been festering and trying its darndest to bring her down with it. This has attracted such dark energy to this house. It's, it's, it almost sticks to you, and she has to get out of this so she can grow, because nothing, nothing will grow here. In this house, I feel, I feel structurally sound, I feel basically, um, basically like a womb. Yes. Okay? I'm safe here. Yes. There's an underlying energy here that is not belonging. Oh, wow. I feel that because I had an experience. Tell me. I was at the top of the stairs, and when I looked down the hallway, there were three black figures that walked out of my bedroom into the other room and away. I still feel that fear. Very large teeth. I felt real fear for my life. That darkness, that evilness. It was so evil. The closer you come to finding your light, the harder it tries, it being negativity. Yeah, it's trying to steal my life. I want to address it. I'd love to be able to see the rest of your house. I want to cleanse it. So you start off a clean slate to go on with the rest of your life. We'll banish this darkness. Let your light shine, girl. Hey, what's going on, Paul? Oh, it's huh? a good team you came, boy. I know, it's always a good thing that I can oh, talk about. Okay, I need to explain to Dave this TV thing before Paul gets a hold of him and convinces him that it's a bad idea. Guys, I want okay. you to listen, just listen, okay? okay? I need both of you. I need both of you. But I want Dave as the floor guy. I want you to handle the phone. It's not a competition. Easy, easy peasy, okay? 
I just, I really need you guys to work together and make this happen. Without you, we're not gonna have a show. What do you think, yeah. Dave? Uh, Paul's in, I'm in. Yeah. You are? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm game for anything. Yes! Yeah. Man, this is my big break. Finally, I get a big break, I break in the show business. We don't have a whole lot of time to practice, so I'll give you an idea of what to expect. Yeah, well, I think I need some practice, you guys. I don't like going into things like blind, you know that. Paul's gonna be answering phones. So let's see what you got, hubby. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Hey, is this a Redneck Psychic show? Yes, you reached oh, the Redneck yeah. Psychic on East Link TV. Right on. I've been trying for two years. Finally get through. For two years? Two years, yeah. I got three questions. First, I need your name. Timothy. Timothy, how do you spell that? You gotta spell that. I wasn't expecting that, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you calling from? Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay, that's in Ontario, is it? Yeah, it's got service here two years ago. Hey, buddy. Okay, I got it there, buddy. Is this your first day or what? It's my first time. <laughs> well, okay, what's the question you want, I want well, to ask, Kelly? I tell you, I had a grandmother. She yeah. was loaded. Loaded with what? Money. Oh, you're a lucky boy. But, and I wonder if Kelly could tell me where she might have it hidden. Because okay, there's nothing what? in the bank. Okay. Nothing so in her coffin, I've checked. Well, how could I ask her to put that on a question? Show me the money. Show me the money. My first day and I'm a pro already. Paul's me. Okay. Okay, this is the board that you're going to write the name. Okay. So I would like you to write it. Just. Timothy Thunder Bay. Next okay. is countdown. 20 seconds left, okay. 10 seconds left. That's when you go like this okay. and you go, 10, 9. Last thing you do to me is you go like this, but you can't say it out loud. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you're on. Guess he missed my last instruction. Dave, you're not a very good listener. Hello, I'm Kelly the Redneck Psychic. <laughs> no, no, I'll show you. You're going to have a great show, so buckle down and... I like to celebrate new callers. Okay. I do my dance. Newbie! Newbie! Woo! 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 <laughs> See, that's why I'm floor director. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> but I got practice, man. Cut. Practice won't help you, Paul. I guess this will have to do, because we're running out of time. We have to go. You it's like right now? Yes! Dave should be worried. He's going to mess this up. Two. One. Countdown, let's go. Do you have yep. my case? Yeah, I'm going to go in. I got Come the Come on, you're slow as a turtle. Let's yep. get the show on the road. Yep. Hello, my lovelies. It's me again. I don't know how many times I'm asked, how do you see people who have passed? I can't help but see them. They're in my car. They're in my dreams. They wake me up at night because they have messages. But most often it's because I'm doing a reading and they're appearing and they're loved ones of the person I'm reading. I'm going to explain to you the best way I know how exactly what I see. Buckle up. <laughs> Spirits. Very first time I ever saw one, I was seven years old minding my own business, and I heard this great big buzzing noise. It was so loud, it was almost piercing. And I looked, and next to my bed was the outline of a man, and it was see-through. And it gave me the impression I could put my hand through it. But to tell you the truth, <laughs> that was the last thing I was gonna do. All I wanted to do was hide. I literally put the blankets over my head. It took me a while, many, many evenings and nights that they came through. I went to my granny's and I asked and told her what I was experiencing. She comforted me and told me to tell them to slow down. They're talking too fast. That's the buzzing noise. The most traumatic occasion that I got to see something was uh, I was doing a client and it was a young fellow who had lost his best friend. and. Before I could even begin, this is how fast this happened. I said, hello, and there he was. This man stood beside him. He had a helmet under his arm, no head, and his head was in the helmet, and he was speaking to me. Most traumatic, most blew my mind. I didn't know how to deal with that. One of the questions a lot of people have asked me as well is, how does this psychic medium thing work? 
Where does it come from? How does it start? My belief is you're born with it. You have the experience very early on in your life. Something stops you. Typically it's fear. You grow up not experiencing it anymore. In an adult's life, it can reoccur if something were to happen to you that's traumatic. That triggers it. And when that happens, don't run. That's when you should embrace it. Mediumship, it's a sacred gift. And if you get messages, you go with them. You just might be surprised. Blessed be my friends. Today, I'm seeing a new client named Andrea for a past life regression. Our past lives has a profound impact on who we are today. Hopefully, today's session will be about connecting patterns that may exist in her current life that needs to be addressed. My name is Andrea Brandt. I am having a regression session. I'm one of the most super emotional, sensitive, empathetic people in the world. Because, I mean, I have three sisters, and I got it all. They didn't get any. Maybe to understand that a little bit more, where it may have stemmed from. Let's see if there's a past life connection there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to count from one to five. And as I count, I want you to slowly and completely allow yourself to go into a deep, deep sleep. One. I want you to take my hand. Now we're going to go on a little adventure, you and I. And you see what I'm seeing, which is fog bank. And as we walk through this fog, you are going to be stepping into a past life. It was like a weighted blanket was on top of me and I couldn't lift my arms. I want you to put your hands in front of you and you're going to look at your hands. And I want you to turn them palm up. I've got white gloves on. What are you wearing? A dress. Royal blue. Very long. Look around you. What do you see? There's a carriage. Is there anybody else in the carriage with you? No. Do you know where you're going? The general store. And why are you at the general store? Picking up fabric. Red. And why red? It's for my daughter. Now you're going home. You open the door and you walk in. And what do you see? My little girl. She's three. Annabelle. <laughs> and why are you making her a dress? Is she excited? It's a new Sunday dress. She's very happy. Okay. You're going to go have your meal. Who else is sitting there? Annabelle. We're being served. And where's her father? It's okay. Where is her father? He's gone. Gone as in away? He died. Annabelle's leaving. She's getting married. In my house. What is going through your mind? How empty it is. <sighs> what do you see in front of you? The general store. What are you there for? Picking up fabric. It's for my daughter, Annabelle. And where's her father? He died. Today, I am guiding a young woman named Andrea through a past life regression. This past life shows that she was a mother who absolutely loved her daughter, but lost her husband to a terrible tragedy. When we don't process the loss of a loved one properly, that pain, it can linger in our soul. We need to go deeper to make sure that this is not impacting Andrea's life right now. How did he die? Scarlet fever. Now I want you to go forward a few years. I want you to see Annabelle. Is she happy? She is. Are you happy? 
No. Why? What is causing your sadness? Lonely. I'm lonely. Okay. I want you to go forward a bit. What is the most dramatic thing that is about to happen? It's right there in front of you. And you have to see it. The process of bringing a client to their death in a past life regression is quite seemingly harsh, but actually it isn't for them. They are instructed to view it like they're watching a movie. That is really the only possible way you can connect to that deep down rooted issue that may be lingering in their current life. Annabelle's leaving. She's getting married. Are you happy for her? I want to be. I want you to see her leaving. I'm in my house. What is going through your mind? How empty it is. You're going to go now to a happy moment. Annabelle has married and she's coming home to visit. And she has a baby. She has a baby? Is it a boy or a girl? It's a little boy. He looks like his grandfather. See yourself holding him. You can feel his little body in your arms. You can see his beautiful eyes looking at you. Are you happy to see him? Yes. Oh, very much. Are they there for long? No. I want you to go forward a little bit more. Can you see yourself as older? No. And why is that? I don't. Did something happen to you? I get sick. And who's taking care of you? My maid. To the point that you're passing? Yeah. Yeah. And where's your daughter? She's not there. I can't breathe. Okay, I want you to look through like you're watching through a movie. You are fine. How old were you? 45. And uh, what was your first name? Anne. And I want you to tell me, Anne, where did you get to rest? Where did they put you? In a graveyard. And is there a tombstone? Yes. What is the date? The year? 1941. If you can open your eyes. Oh, don't cry. Oh, are you okay? Uh, I am. I am. Looking back at it, I must have been severely depressed, losing my husband with a young daughter. And that makes sense because I've dealt with depression my whole life. If we do not deal with things properly, then we are destined to repeat the same patterns. Once you release the trauma in yourself, it is so freeing. Andrea's loneliness and loss that she carried from her past lives has affected her current life, that it's made her a prisoner in her own body. If you'd have asked me 10 years ago, I was gonna be married, I was gonna have lots of children, those were the two most important things in my life. Well, I was married, I was miserable. I have three children, they are my world. There were so many similarities, but that pain wasn't hers to bear anymore. To Anne, she felt she needed more to be happy, and I don't need more to be happy. I am happy, I'm happy with who I am, I'm happy with my job and my children, and I'm okay with it. I'm so glad to hear it. Self-awareness is the key to carving out a peaceful and happy life. For Andrea, a weight has been lifted, having had to look at the trauma and the pain that was so deeply rooted in her core, it has allowed her to have an awareness that has brought on an amazing amount of growth. And it's just the beginning. Bye-bye.
two weeks ago, I read Nancy, and both of her parents came through to tell her they were proud of her. I think that brought her peace because she didn't hear it enough growing up. This is causing so much negative energy that it's infusing itself in her home. While smudging the house of its negativity, she told me she had something to show me. My special place where I spend some time, a lot of time lately. Oh, the energy's good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you to see. This is where I paint. This is, this is my space where my creativity. <laughs> No, you don't need smudging in here. No? The energy's perfect. <laughs> Amazing! This is how you shine your light, girl. Oh my gosh! That one I recently did. I, I love like, it! Yeah, yeah, I thought of you I actually when I did it because you love to fish. I paint what I love and I've also found some photographs that I've painted. Okay, now this, this is... This is my camp and this is a special place. I see what you captured here. And I sense that this is a place you go to be freer than you can be anywhere else. If you'd like, we can go there. I'll take you there. Would you like to? Really? We could, yeah, we could go. Oh my God, what a great idea. I can't wait. Hey guys. We're at the studio with my crew. There's no turning back now. Hey. Well, it's the best I could do on short notice. Well, we're in a bit of a bind. You're gonna end up with Andrew in the okay. phone center. Yep, no problem at all. I don't believe you. Uh, you're on. <laughs> and you're gonna work with uh, Quinn. Okay, right on. Perfect. So we gotta get going. Yeah. Okay, get going. let's go. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want you to behave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, listen, no, I'm not gonna. Holy Hannah. What have I gotten myself into? All right, Paul. Yeah. Here's the hub. Hey, Can okay. I have you here? Thank you very much for volunteering yeah. with us. Hey, Juan. Does like a thousand buttons in this room. These hands, yeah. I think I'm gonna keep it in my pocket. Cause wet paint, I like to touch wet paint. And if they let me loose, I'll touch every one of these freaking buttons and nothing would work. Have a seat and I'll run through with you yeah. the, uh, the process. So Good. Dave, you're gonna be the floor director tonight? Uh oh. No, it's not as bad as you think it is. I like being a boss, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but listen, I'm here. I don't care who's here. This is mine. I got you an even more important job. It is? Yeah. We're going to actually have you using this guy. You're going to be talking with the bosses out in the truck. You can pick up a name for me. What name do you want to call me out in the truck? <laughs> be nice. <laughs> what you're going to do is, as they come to call in, you just hold it out right here underneath the lens, and then she'll be able to read it and intro to it and then so how, goes how do i know if she's seen it or oh because she'll say it she'll tell right so that that'll be fine right okay. we've got this dave i'll do my part as long as she does hers you, you can call me what uh i'm gonna call you rubber ducky too. You, got, you got a rubber ducky in there rubber ducky. say hey rubber ducky <laughs> yeah oh i called andrew rubber ducky rubber Ducky. Oh. If you're calling me Rubber Ducky, what am I going to call you? Oh, call me what you want. <laughs> just, just hey you. Hey you, call me hey you. Hey you, okay. So what the process is, Paul, is the person going to be sitting beside you is going to answer the phone. They're going to write all their information down on this piece of paper. Yeah. And this okay. is the important part. I need to know the person's name and where they're calling from. What am I going to do? I never practiced this job. But if you want to talk to me, all you can do is press and see if the green light comes up. Yeah. And just let go when you finish talking. Yeah. Okay. I didn't sign up for this. Hi. How did you do? Didn't get the job I thought I was going to have. <laughs> That's the way the cookie crumbles. But I know he can do this. They would do great. Yeah. Would you ever believe you? No. Nope. I would never. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. Okay. Yay! Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is for me. That is for you. <laughs> See that, Kelly? I'll see you, Mr. Floor Director. Well, I think I got her. All right, good, Dave. Yeah, good, well, Dave. What's worse going to happen? It's live. Live TV? That's right. <laughs> we make it look like it was supposed to happen. OK, right on. That's how it goes. We'll make it part of the show. Absolutely. <laughs> it's been a little while since I performed Past Life Regression on Andrea. I'm curious to see the connections she's made with her past uh, lives and her current life. 
as I reflect more on the Victorian lady, she was well off, but she didn't have the important things. Very sad, very lonely. And being single right now, I relate to that. And I do have a great family, but I don't have a partner. Once my kids move out, I'll be alone. That's a bit of a scary reality right now. Before we start, I think I'm gonna pick a card for her. It always helps me to kind of tune in, to channel her energy. And sometimes we get a little bit of a message there. Be interesting to see what I pick. Hello, Hello. Andrea. How are you? <laughs> so glad to see you, me my friend. Too. Come on. So I'd love to get your feedback. So tell me a little bit. I'm reflecting a lot more. That's the key. I started thinking about the Victorian lady and how sad her life was and how lonely she was and that's where I am right now. I didn't know that it was my fear, although I had many thoughts of it. Mm -hmm. Literally yesterday, my coworker came in and said, Andrea, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm lonely. When you were laying down on that couch, you reacted very emotionally. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a little bit of, oh my, no. no. You felt it because it was connected to your life today. Right now. And life, as we come back every single time, is to learn that life lesson. So you're back there. You've made a circle. Mm -hmm. It's a different time. Yeah. But you are dealing with what you didn't deal with in that time. Right. Okay? And what that refers to is simple. Your fear of abandonment, your fear of being alone, your fear of not having the people you love around you because they may not be there and what happens to you. This is the card I picked for you. Financially, you are stable, but you are alone. You will always be self-sustainable, but the heart is where you fear the most. And this- That's exactly it. Oh, I know. Fear is evil. I'm here to tell you, it's a quack of, you know what? Stop focusing on that fear. Yeah. You're about the most empathetic, loving, kind woman I've ever met. And yet, you do not give it to yourself. So I'm going to shake your tree. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to be fine. You're not going to die alone. You're not going to have to be separate from the people you love. That is what you need to put in your mind. This is your fear. It's not your destiny. What does Andrea want? I want a partner. Write down what you want. I want you to write a description of the type of love you want on a page. And I want it to be one hell of a freaking description. And don't tell me you can't. <laughs> I know you got an imagination. That I do. I know. I'll be expecting a call or a text. Okay. Because you'll be telling me, holy <laughs> shit, he's there. So, promise me. Okay. You got this. I promise. Give me five. The fear is there, it's real. That my destiny is to be the Victorian lady. With Kelly here today, reassuring that no, that's not my destiny and I have control over that. That'll be what I take away from today. It's, it's a fear, it's not a reality. I'll write my description and let it happen. You're gonna be fine. I, Thank you so much. I shook a tree. I made her aware that that fear was the very thing that was stopping her from getting what she always wanted. She really got it. Ain't no Spencer Victorian woman there. Not this time around. Okay, Thank sweetheart. you. Your mom knew she was dying when she was here the last time. In February. Yes. She couldn't go out on the snowmobiles. I remember seeing her in the window watching us all leave. Oh. Nancy is at the precipice of amazing changes, but to facilitate those changes, she has to have a space that she feels safe. And for her, that space is her cabin. There she can let all her worries go and just be. And that's where we're going today. Hi, Kelly. Oh my God, Nancy, <laughs> I love this place. Do you like it? Welcome Wait, to I got a hug a tree. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <gasps> you got a fire. <laughs> got a fire oh going just God. to keep warm and the wood house there and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> many a story told on this bench. Play music or have music playing. Very low key, but just fun. 
I'd so love is, to show you inside. Let's let's I go see. I loved you. Yeah. University <laughs> now. Come on. Come on in. Oh my God. Welcome. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Feel the good vibe? Yeah. yeah. Many a beer has been drank here. <laughs> this place radiates joy. So many memories have imprinted these walls with good company and laughter and music and joy and good food. Oh, it's paradise. Your mom loved this place. Oh. Her imprint is huge here. Absolutely. I feel her in here. more than your dad in a weird way. Yes, yes. This is the living room. This is where oh. <laughs> we gather to uh, tell stories. Your mom knew she was dying when she was here the last time. In February, yes. She couldn't go out on the snowmobiles. I remember seeing her in the window watching us all leave oh. on the snowmobile. I, I, I met her longing. eyes that day. That longing, longing to of, stay. Of, I can't leave this, I can't leave this. Yep. And watching her family go and knowing she would not have that opportunity she and knew. feeling that sadness overwhelming her. Yes. But then there's a moment where that sadness is so dark and then there's light because I feel almost like she said to herself, but it will go on. She let go of this place knowing that others would continue to make memories here. You're left with the shell of a space that brings joy if you allow it to. If you allow it. Well, this is what brings me joy, too. Oh, see? See? Oh, my God, <laughs> yeah. you got your paint, yeah, girl. I, yeah, oh I just God. swept some paint on the page. I, I added that. But I added the words this morning. Grace, dignity, and love. Wow. This hits home. These are the words my granny told me. So I got up this morning and I was compelled to put those words. Could I have this to put in my cottage? Of course you can. Really? That's Absolutely. Oh my God. <laughs> now you tell me if this wasn't meant to be. Wow. I am just so thankful. Meeting you has been a pleasure and spending these two days with you. I have made a friend. Yeah, you have. And I have made a friend. Live your truth. Living my truth. Thank you. We got this right. <laughs> so you got to fly, girl. Okay. I really think Nancy has found, has found her way. She gets it now. And I don't think she has fear behind her anymore. I cannot wait to see her again and see the changes that will unfold in her life. I may have called in some reinforcements. <laughs> Just in the neck of time. I know, I didn't think I was going to oh. make it, but I'm here. I'm going to so have to long. grab the phone and I can't hear a lot. I guess I saved the day again. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going straight to the first caller, and it's Margaret from PEI. Hey, Miss Margaret. Hey, you, rubber ducky. It's Wanda Lee. 10 4, hey, you. Yeah, L-E-E. -E. Are you a new person? Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Eh, raise the roof. Whoop, 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 whoop. Joe, all the way from Port Hawkesbury. Hello, Mr. Joe. I guess I want to make the big leagues. Handwriting class, here I come. Hey, Paul. Oh, doing a good job. Thanks for filling in tonight. OK. Yeah, you saved my bacon. Yeah, I saved your bacon. <laughs> no, it's not, but you're busy. You're gonna know what's going on some. Raise the roof. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, yeah, you gotta pay attention. Come on, new guy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> All right. It was good, Elliot. Hey. 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 You did good, Paul. Hey. Hey, you guys. Watch the hair, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how did you do today? Well, I don't know how hard it is here, but I can soon learn your job. No, Kelly, can, no. I be, can I be replaced? No. See? The show went off without a hitch. 
holy Hannah on a broomstick. But I can't do this when I don't have these wonderful people who volunteer their time and I want them to know, truly know how much I appreciate, appreciate every ounce of their time. I love them all. I'm just a little girl who had a dream and I came into the connection to people that allow me to live that dream. And for that, I can't thank you enough. I am truly blessed to have so many wonderful people in my life. Thank you. You know something? What? When it what? comes for a party there, yeah, I can cook, you know. You got a big kitchen there. Yeah. I can cook a good turkey there. Yeah. I tell you what, we'll do a Christmas special. Woo! Why not? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Me doing a cooking show. I could best the best friggin' turkey you ever had, man. It's important to me to follow up on my clients, and today I am going to do just that. I'm going to have a conversation with Nancy. Thinking about it all day, I've had this feeling that there's been changes in her life, and uh, I can't wait to talk to her about them. Oh my goodness, hi guys, welcome. Come on in. I made a huge decision to leave my marriage and my home. It has been difficult, but it has also been a positive change. In the queen way. <laughs> I'm happy, what can I say? Come on into my studio. I wanna show you around. The universe kinda of said, here you go. This is your space and make it yours. And I, I feel so confident that I can make it work. Feels really good. So much has changed. I'm excited to to tell her. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Kelly. How have you been, girl? I've been really good, thank you. There's been a lot of changes though since we've met. So what are the changes? I moved out. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It checked all the boxes for me. Fully furnished, and it's filled with art that I love. Kind of strange how it so suits me. It was very, very sad to me because I saw your potential like a butterfly stuck in a cocoon. I bet you, though, it has a whole lot different energy than your house. Well, it does. I didn't tell anyone. My children didn't even know. And because I, no. didn't, I didn't want any input from anyone, it was something that I had to do only on my own. I truly think your children will get this because they'll see you in a much happier, a much more positive light. They're seeing a, a, a mother that is more present with them. I loved my home and what I put into it was me at the time, but I grew and I changed and I embraced the change that happened to me. I want us to remain friends. We know we spent a lifetime together. I love the man, and um, I want nothing but all the best for him. You've only got one life. This is not a dress rehearsal. Make it count. So tell me about your painting. How's that progressing? I'm looking forward to doing lots more. Your painting is hmm. your path. Oh, well, that's what I want. I do want to serve in some way. I think there's a real need. Older people living in nursing homes, feel good about something that they can do. I could teach them to, to create a painting for themselves. You actually did it, living my granny's model with love, grace, and dignity. So, so proud of you. You know, on the other side of fear lies your dreams. But accept your fear, face it, but do it anyway. And if you're not in a loving, happy relationship, you're not a tree you can move. This whole experience has been nothing short of life changing. Sky's the limit, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. What is causing your sadness? Lonely. One of the things most people fear is being alone in life. She was a very sad, very lonely lady. But I think we're looking at it wrong. I have changed, I have grown, he has as well, and I've questioned, is this where I want to be? There is a difference between being alone and being lonely. 
If you're not living your truth... Newbie! Newbie. Woo! 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 You could have a million people around you and still be lonely. You will always be self-sustainable, but the heart is where you fear the most. Once you start to take the steps you need, <laughs> you will never feel lonely again. I made a huge decision to leave my marriage and my home. It has been difficult, but it has also been a positive change. This is your fear. It's not your destiny. What does Andrea want? I want a partner. Write down what you want. I promise. Give me five. <laughs> when there's no real danger, fear is the evil that is trying to stop you from reaching your destiny. They're seeing a mother that is more present with them. Let it hold you back and you will never be happy. But move through it and what is on the other side will be incredible. That'll be what I take away from today. It's a fear, it's not a reality. And the thing about fear is once you burn it out, you did good for it will never be able to hold you back again. We'll do a Christmas special. Woo! Why not? Yeah!